As humans, we like to plant trees in a variety of non-woodland ecosystems, from pasture land to orchards, through to lawns and even surrounded by concrete. But the soil in these environments is just not the same as that found in a woodland environment. And therefore, unsurprisingly, these trees just do not thrive as well as they should. So if your trees look unhealthy, they're suffering from disease or plagued by pests, or maybe they're just not putting on that much growth, then really the first place to look is at the soil that you're growing them in. You may need to alter your soil organisms to better mimic those in a woodland environment. These organisms can then get on and tailor the soil to meet the needs of your plants. The good news is that this is relatively quick and easy for you to do. The rest is down to them. For some time now, this damson tree has really been struggling to put on any growth. And it's hardly surprising considering the soil that it's growing in. We carried out a biological soil assessment as well, and that highlighted a lack of certain key microorganisms. So today, we're going to add some radigrow solution and radispores mycorrhizal mix to help boost the beneficial biology in the soil. First, we need to determine where the drip line of the tree is, which is defined as the ground directly below the outer circumference of the tree's crown. This is going to be our treatment area. This tree has a relatively small diameter of about 1.5 metres, and therefore the area is about 1.8 metres squared. Then, using a garden fork to gently lift the soil, we can speed up the time that it takes for the solution to filtrate down to the roots, whilst also bringing in air to the soil. By getting in more oxygen to the soil, and by developing the soil food web, you'll be encouraging aggregates to form, which are vital for nutrient and water retention. If you've got a larger tree with a diameter of over two metres, you need to divide the area within the drip line into two. So you have an inner zone and an outer zone. Tip your radigrow solution into a bucket and use it at one litre per metre squared. If you're looking to increase the fungal hyphae biomass of your soil, now's the time to add the radispores mycorrhizal mix to your solution. Use just one sachet of radispores per 10 litres and mix them in well, making sure that there are no lumps. Using a watering can, shower the area with radigrow solution. When you come to choose your watering can, make sure that you get one with holes that are big enough in the end nozzle for all of the microorganisms to pass through. You don't want to be filtering them out with a really fine mesh. Once you've fully showered the area with radigrow solution, you can then mulch the tree, particularly if you suspect compaction. Mulching mimics the natural buildup of debris in a forest or woodland ecosystem and protects the ground from compaction by rain. If you feel your tree needs it, a second application can be carried out a week later. <laughs> 